let's see how I uh, manage a case of intraoperative floppy iris. This patient had a mid dilated pupil of 5.6 millimeter, and I started uh, my incision posterior limbal as usual, and um, after incision, I I used uh, tripen blue to stain my anterior capsule. Then mask it with uh, BSS. Pupil still is good, mid dilated, not constricted. Injected viscoelastic. After uh, visco dilatation, pupil became. Uh, around 6 millimeter which uh, uh, was good for me and uh, I started my rexes uh, from the sideboard using a cystitome. My aim is always to have a rexes of uh, more than 5 millimeter and in this uh, particular case it was more important to have a good rexes uh, because uh, the floppy iris uh, will uh, lead to the small pupil later on. So in this case I was able to achieve a axis of 5.6 millimeter and I was happy about it. Uh, after doing the hydro section I tried to uh, move rotate the nucleus uh, it did not rotate much but uh, uh, I don't bother uh, if it is not rotating well as I knew that I have achieved a good uh, hydro resection after uh, mild rotation people was still 5.6 millimeter and uh, I started my FACO. Uh, I, I made uh, uh, the central uh, short trench uh, which is my usual way and uh, uh, after having a moderately, moderately deep uh, trench use my second instrument to achieve a first split. Uh, as I was doing the first split, uh, people started to become smaller. Split was satisfactory. I had a good split, but now the pupil is very small, and I noticed that uh, uh, it might prolapse, and because of the egress of the fluid and viscoelastic coming out of the side port. So. Uh, I stopped and uh, people was now 3.8 millimeter. I injected uh, more viscoelastic but people did not dilate much now. So at this time uh, I decided to continue with my FACO as I already had a split and catheter was not small. But what I modify was that I did not use second instrument much. I was only using FACO from the main wound and uh, keeping it in the center and taking the uh, nucleus uh, piecemeal. If I use second instrument only when uh, it is necessary to break or disengage the uh, piece from the FACO and uh, use my FACO to continue the uh, emulsification. <coughs> The thing is that we need to keep the uh, uh, our uh, FACO tip uh, uh, in the center and uh, the bevel should be directed horizontally and I was directing it towards the left side. I used uh, uh, my second instrument 
just native when whenever it is needed and i will keep it out otherwise the pupil uh, the iris will prolapse and once the iris prolapse is there it's very difficult to uh, keep the eye uh, the iris uh, inside and uh, becomes very difficult then that definitely we need to use iris hooks so keeping my phaco in the center directing my bevel horizontally towards the left side and uh, keeping my phaco slow uh, so and at lower powers so i don't uh, take the iris now at this point i change my uh, settings to epinucleus with uh, only 5% power and uh, so my aim was that if the pupil will come to the phaco it should not be damaged by the phaco power and occasionally i use my checking instrument to keep the iris margin away from the phaco tip since pupil is small uh, so uh, i could not uh, visualize the margin uh, of my rexis and uh, epicortex it was a bit difficult to get uh, the uh, epinucleus removed with the phaco tip so now i uh, change to uh, simco cannula to do the uh, irrigation and aspiration since my rexis is uh, uh, 5.6 mm so i could go blindly under the iris and pick the cortex uh, without visualization but it's of course it's a bit difficult and uh, it took some time it is uh, always uh, a good idea to push the iris away a little bit and then see if there is any uh, cortex and behind the in the back stuck there uh, as i as you see here i was trying to remove looks that it is done completely but once i pushed my iris there was some cortical material in the bag which was removed once i was satisfied with the removal of the cortex uh, then i injected the viscoelastic in the bag and implanted uh, a single piece monofocal lens and uh, centered it with uh, the second instrument then i take uh, my time to uh, remove the viscoelastic from the anterior chamber as well as uh, uh, from behind the lens it is important to remove viscoelastic because with the small pupil and uh, uh, sometimes it is not uh, easy to do it but then the patient will have high intraocular pressure in uh, in the post operative period once i was satisfied uh, then i form my form the ac with uh, bss and uh, i do the stromal hydration for all my side ports as well as the main wound so the thing is that um, uh, the it uh, depends on your expertise of managing the cataracts to a small pupil uh, if uh, uh there is any doubt or if there is any difficulty uh, while doing the phaco or while uh, aspirating the cortical material it is always always recommended that uh, you should use the uh, iris hooks or uh, pupil expanding devices to to have a good visualization i have a good experience of managing the uh, cataract to a small to small pupils so i was able to do that the thing is that need we need to be uh, more careful we need to be more slow and uh, uh, obviously my surgical time is less than 10 minutes but in this case uh, it was around 20 minutes so double the time but if you i, I would have put the iris hooks also it would have taken the same amount of time so that's how, how i judge my uh, decision to do to put the iris hooks or uh, not so my main aim is to be safe and uh, uh, also save time